the park and a taste of mountain air at a one-of-a-kind California getaway called Magic Mountain! That's right, Magic Mountain. It's my awesome. first time here and I love it. I can't wait to Excellent. It's, it's amazing. This feeling of excitement, of almost supercharged anticipation, grips the souls of visitors, no matter when they arrive. The pursuit of pleasure is nothing new. People have been seeking thrills for generations, with mixed results. Long before technology gave us the jet plane, it had given us the roller coaster. Early rides included a number of contraptions, each of which offered our parents and grandparents what probably seemed at the time an absolutely amazing experience. That, of course, was then. Whereas this is now Magic Mountain style. Finally, the day begins. this very special collection of delights, first-hand. In the ancient past, Colossus was one of the seven wonders of the world. At Magic Mountain, Colossus has been reborn as one of the world's greatest roller coasters. This is the largest dual track wooden roller coaster in the world. Sprawled out over 10 acres, its highest peak is 125 feet. And it's the first coaster in existence with two different drops exceeding 100 feet each. Here, gravity exceeds more than three times the Earth's normal force, pushing you to a screaming high of 62 miles per hour in an experience that lasts more than three minutes from start to finish. but on a magic mountain could you hope to find white water in Southern California. Grab your life jacket and hang on for your life aboard Roaring Rapids. <laughs> the
the thrills here are real. Roaring Rapids was inspired by the mighty Colorado River, where the waters are wild enough to carve a grand canyon out of the rock and hard Arizona terrain. This is the granddaddy of all the other man-made whitewater thrill rides. It was modeled after the Olympic kayaking course and gets your heart pumping by pouring you and one and a half million gallons of water through four different rapids, one of which lasts a full 175 feet at a top speed of 30 miles an hour. It may be a little wet, but what a way to go. What happened? We got wet! Huh? We got wet! No, it was definitely a wet experience. It's terrible. So, well, I need to get wet. I need to get wet, man. Nice cool. Cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. Refreshing. Everybody got a chance to get wet. I got soaked. That's what. In the wild world of nature, the condor is a winged hunter. In the wild world of Magic Mountain, the condor is something else, and nothing less than the wildest ride in captivity. Just seconds after this bird takes off, there's nothing between you and Mother Earth except 112 feet of empty space. You're flying in a spin at the end of a 60-foot long wing, but that's just the beginning of what this condor is doing to you. Because each giant wing is also spinning in a mighty 360-degree arc. It all adds up, then up further still, and around to two of the longest, wildest minutes in the history of flight. designed with the unlicensed pilot in mind. It's a plane ride that takes you where no 747 would dare to go. Higher and higher, all the way up to 180 degrees, upside down. <laughs> Z-Force adds a revolutionary twist to getting around. But when it comes to revolutionary rides, Ninja wins, hands up. After all, it's a roller coaster without a track to roll on. Instead, on Ninja, riders rip around in suspended animation. In hanging trains suspended beneath more than half a mile of twisting, turning, overhead track. Once aboard, you can see where Ninja gets its name and its reputation as the black belt of roller coasters.
if you came here to really soak up the fun, then you want Tidal Wave. Next up, a way down that you'll never forget. Welcome to free fall. At two seconds from top to bottom, undoubtedly Magic Mountain's shortest ride experience, but also one of its most unforgettable. It's incredible. You lose your stomach completely. So you really do. You lose your voice box. It's impossible to talk. To begin with, four innocent people are securely positioned inside an elevator-like cab, which then ascends to the height of a ten-story building. There, they are suspended over thin air. And let drop, plummeting downward almost 100 feet so fast they accelerate an incredible zero to 50 miles an hour in just over two seconds while experiencing the outer space feeling of total weightlessness. So much happens so quickly aboard Freefall, we really need to see it again to appreciate it in slow motion. But weightlessness is just one of Magic Mountain's adventures in the physics of fun. For example, want to learn about centrifugal force? Just climb aboard Revolution and keep these statistics in mind. When you're ripping along its 3,457 feet of track at speeds of up to 55 miles an hour, and you fly head over heels through its giant loop, you'll find yourself sitting down, upside down, thanks to centrifugal force. The same force that keeps you up against the wall in spin-out. On the edge of your seat in reactor. Hanging on for dear life aboard scrambler. And having a far out time in swashbuckler. If you're more into gravity than levity, 
then climb into one of Magic Mountain's fleet of coasters. Take Gold Rusher, if you dare. When you hit bottom on one of these dips, you weigh lots more than when you got on. It's not all those goodies you've been gobbling lately, but how gravity gets raised by the speed and spills of life aboard a coaster. In fact, Magic Mountain is like a huge physics lab. Fun, yes, but very scientific. Think of it this way. All the elements of mechanical physics are here. Weight, mass, density, friction, gravity, inertia, potential energy, kinetic energy, velocity, acceleration, resistance, and <gasps> centrifugal force. And speaking of physics, what about Newton? Remember him? Well, tell yourself that you're going to get a first-hand grip on Isaac Newton's three basic laws of physics and head for Magic Mountain. Then, as you zip around, just keep repeating the following. According to Newton's first law, there can be no change in a physical object without a force acting upon it, which is the law that revealed the existence of gravity, gravity being the force that makes coasters speed up going down and slow down going up. Newton's second law states that F equals M minus A. Put another way, if a fast-moving object goes faster than another fast-moving object, its force will be greater too. Got it? Good, because Newton's third law, on the other hand, states that every action will create an equal and opposite reaction, which explains why when you're going down, your stomach seems to be going up. Of course, physics isn't the only kind of science you'll find at work here. There are examples of kitchen chemistry galore, along with lots of ways to study important subjects, such as human depth perception and motor skills. There are facilities where you can research electronic storage and playback of audio signals, and see how heating silicon-based materials yields highly malleable transparent solids. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. There are also opportunities to observe marine mammals in revealing displays of aquatic physiology. And plenty of chances for young naturalists to get hands-on information about the amazing world of animals. In fact, in Bugs Bunny World, Magic Mountain offers budding young students of the physics of fun a whole lab full of exotic equipment on which they can hone their skills of observation and experimentation, including the Wild E. Coyote Coaster, where Magic Mountain's top guns of the future master the art of roller coastering. Of course, if you want more than science, come to Magic Mountain for the arts. Magic Mountain offers its guests a fully rounded cultural experience with musicological presentations at Spillikin Bandstand and a steady stream of other performing arts offerings. Got the picture? Well, you won't get the full picture at Magic Mountain until the sun goes down and the lights come on. Then, watch out, and up, and down, and every other direction for one of the world's only high-tech, high-action, high-speed light shows. And every summer night, over the waters of Magic Mountain's mystic lake, it's all capped off by a fantastic finale of fire. Somehow, you've survived all the dips and drops, tips and thrills, frights and delights. Of course, the true test isn't surviving what Magic Mountain has to offer, but surviving the wait until you can come back for more.